Hello, I'm Jose Leveguirre from Spotfire and today I'm going to show you how to remove the empty values from filters. Take a look at this example. I have some production data and I have the year. The, the year value has uh, some empty. If I include the empties, I can see all those empty values. I also want to keep only the last two years of production. This is the final output where it doesn't matter if I change the filter type, I won't see those empty values that I see otherwise. Here I don't see the empty values, but I can remove the all and none, which are options from the radio button, by right clicking and taking them away with this checkbox. But if I go here and I change the filter type to radio buttons, then I still see the empty value here, and that's what I want to remove. So the first thing I want to do is add another table, and this table is going to be based on the existing data table that I'm going to take the year from. So I'm going to call this year and I'm going to add a couple of transformations. The first transformation is going to filter some rows. I'm going to filter the, well, I have here an expression already. So I'm going to take the current year and take one year from it and compare it to my year column. That's going to take away the null values if I have some null values in my year. So that's the first step to get the last two years. And the second one, I'm going to add a pivot transformation after my filter. And the only thing I'm going to do here is just to add the year. And that you can see the last two years. And this is going to be my lookup table for the year. I'm going to see another table added here. But this is not going to do any effects. In order to make this work, what I want to do is relate the table. So I go to my data canvas. I'm going to manage my relationships. I'm going to see the relations overview. I see my two tables there. They have no relationships already, but I'm going to add a new relation. From my data table, I'm going to select the year. And from my other data table, I'm going to select the year. So that way, the, it's related by year. When I click OK and close the, the canvas, well, I can see now that they are related by the year. And if I close my data canvas, now I can see this little icon on my filter panel. Right now, nothing is happening. I have to make another setting. So I'm going to tell the filter panel that I'm going to include the filters values from any relationship that I have. So now is automatically filtering everything that is not on my lookup table. And if I remove the year from the lookup table, one of the years is just going to filter those years that I have selected. So now the next step is just replace this, this uh, filter from the, from the text area. So I'm going to edit and change this filter with this one and save it. Thank you and let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next Dr. Spotfire quick tip video.